Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Javier from the Real Javier Novoa channel, where we apply the principles of philosophy and spirituality to success in business, relationships, and life. So today I'm back to do the second part in our series on how to manifest anything in three days. And of course, in our last video, we went um, on to explain how you can figure out what it is you desire and how you can boil it down by journaling. You basically ask yourself questions and you boil your desire down and you cut off all the dross and you get it down to a very succinct statement that you can turn into an imagination or a phrase that you can then use to focus upon it. And so the second step here is the middle of that process. And this is actually the most difficult part because Despite what a lot of teachers in the LOA modality will tell you, it requires skill. And I'll explain why this is. Different teachers give different techniques for basically getting your heart and mind into alignment and getting your subconscious to accept what your mind and brain have come up with. Because until your subconscious actually accepts it, as Neville Goddard says, it's not going to take place easily in the physical, or at least it's not going to do so with a lot of, without a lot of exterior effort. And that's what the modality in this channel is all about, uh, getting things done and attracting things into your reality without taking a lot of physical effort. So many spiritual teachers, and indeed on this channel, we give a lot of different tools and techniques. But what many spiritual teachers don't explain, or I don't think do a good enough job of explaining, is that especially in the beginning, you will have to apply different techniques at different times, and you'll have to experiment with the techniques. Because when Neville Goddard says that imagination is the Savior, and that imagination creates reality, what he means by imagination is not simply visual imagination. The proof is, is that he goes into other forms of imagination, like speech and like auditory imagination, where you hear certain statements or you hear the universe tell you something or you hear a friend congratulating you. These are all techniques and modalities that he goes through in his writing. So he can't just simply mean imagination as we or as most of us understand the term imagination. I think a better way to term this, or a better word to give it, is focus. Your focus is the power. And the way you focus will differ in a given situation when you're in a given vibration and in a different time. So this is basically just like driving a car. When you first learn to drive a car, you learn the technique. And it's a series of steps, and you have to learn each step almost in isolation from the other step. And then, of course, you're guided. And, of course, you will and you can learn this on your own. But it's a lot easier when you have someone to look or, or to guide you through the process for the first time or the first few times. And that's what we'll be doing in this retreat we will basically be guiding you through that process of how to focus so that you can get practice in that. So what do I mean? A great teacher of this material that not a lot of people have uh, heard of, um, his name is uh, Graham Cook. And he basically says, and he's speaking here, he personifies it as God. And he basically says that God asks what do you want me to be for you at this moment? And that's a perfect question to ask. Because let's say, for example, that your intention is that you've written down, you've journaled, is that you want to start, let's just say, you want to start a car dealership. But you have no money and no credit, no idea how to do that. And in this retreat and in this course for manifesting it in three days, what we basically want to do is manifest the certainty and then manifest a piece of that coming into reality within three days. So once you formulate that goal, throughout the day, as you try to focus on it, you're going to be in different positions on the emotional scale. 
So for example, sometimes when you focus on it, you may be in hopefulness. But then when you think about, say, the financial aspect of it, it may take you down to overwhelm or to even worry. So basically the trick here is to know what technique to apply or no technique or you create your own technique because it's just like driving a car. Soon you stop consciously applying the steps that you've learned and you simply viscerally create your own step. You see what I'm saying? It's like driving a car or like a golf game. So you have to know what to do in each situation. So Neville Goddard says, choose one simple scene in the imagination and then loop it before you go to sleep. That's an example. And then even he deviates from that. In some of his works, he says, well, for example, uh, he was told by his teacher, Abdullah, when he went to sleep, to feel the feeling of what it would feel like to have the United States as his north, as opposed to being in the United States. Basically, what these are is that according to where you are on the emotional scale and your feeling, you have to find some way to align with a piece of that desire. So perhaps when you're worried, say, about finances, what you want to do is you want to focus on what you would do that you enjoy while you have that business. This is just an example. So when you're, for example, worried about how am I going to get the money to start this business, what will guide you to do and what your own inner being will emotionally guide you to do in order to be able to focus on it specifically and therefore have it manifest more quickly is that you would imagine, let's say, well, I really enjoy talking with the customer. So then you will imagine a scene or you'll imagine yourself in real time talking to those customers. And then you will reduce the, shall we say, feeling or you will reduce the momentum going in that portion of it where you feel that you don't have enough money. I hope I'm explaining this a little bit clearly. And as, as I said, we're going to go into it more in the retreat. But basically, you have to figure out the techniques and tools to apply in each step of the process when you focus on it. You've got to figure out a way to focus on it in which you feel best. Sometimes the technique will be just to start working on it. And I had a video yesterday about showing up. Just show up and suit up. Take a piece of it that you think you might know and then just start moving on it. Of course, you may make a mistake and it may not pan out and that's all right. You'll get feedback, but at least you're not stuck in that vibrational muck. And the point of this manifesting in three days and this po the point of this specific and targeted focus is to basically break up that vibrational stuckness and have that thing flow to you. And it is going to flow to you, and it's going to flow to you in ways that you're not going to be able to uh, expect and in ways that you're not going to be able to predict. And it will be because of the techniques that you apply and not consciously applying them as techniques as such, but simply viscerally going at it. And so you go at the um, goal, you go at the intention, and you keep hitting it from an area that perhaps it may catch it off guard, perhaps it's not expected, and therefore you will vibrationally get around those negative emotions that will come to you. So remember, imagine it, self-talk it, view certain aspects or points of view at it that don't have resistance. And that's exactly what we're going to teach you how to do on this channel. That's what we're going to be guiding you through real time in the retreat. And that is the second step, ladies and gentlemen. Figure out a way to focus on it to where then you can attain the state. And sometimes you might be able to go straight to this and then you have it done because you know it's done. Just attain the state. What is the total corpus of feelings, thoughts, and what is my context as we go into the spiritual, um, the spiritual level of context in our uh, chart of uh, levels of being? What is the context that I will have when I have this. As Wayne Dyer said, imagine yourself as surrounded by the circumstances that you want to create. Once you can get there, after just a little bit of time of going at it and specifically focusing on it and then figuring out what points you can focus on and basically figuring it out like a program, like driving a car, like a golf game or like a skill. And I promise you, we are going to have more videos explaining this in a more succinct manner. And we have curriculum in the retreat that we're going to be teaching on this. 
But this is the second step, ladies and gentlemen. Find whatever way you can to focus on it going under, over, or around those negative emotions and blocks. And therefore, you eventually attain the state, and then it's yours. And you'll start seeing aspects of that appearing in the physical as soon as three days. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you find value in my material, please subscribe and like. It's the way we get the word out. And I have a lot of good videos coming up this week, and we will be announcing more on the retreat. Also, we've started an Instagram group at The Real Javier Lavoie. I'm going to be presenting exclusive content on Instagram. And as always, join our Facebook group so that you can ask questions and we can have dialogue and ongoing case studies that we're going to be posting there. So until next time, with much love and much appreciation, this is Javier from The Real Javier Novoa. Have a great night.